This includes personnel involved in training Ukrainian security forces, Canadians in uniform who have been deployed in Poland to support Ukrainian refugees, and in Latvia to support NATO. There can be no doubt. Just as the resolve of our brave women and men in uniform is unwavering, so too is the bond between Canada and Europe. Already, Canada has provided military support to Ukraine and put in place sanctions and punitive economic measures against the Russian regime. Together, President von, Leyen, von der Leyen and I also co-hosted an international pledging event for Ukrainians who've been forced from their homes, many of whom have become refugees. For as long as it takes, we will stand shoulder to shoulder together with our European partners for Ukraine. Today, I can announce that we are extending our engineering training as part of Operation Unifier until at least the fall and deploying CAF medical trainers to help Ukrainian forces with combat medical skills. We're also investing $3 million for demining in Ukraine and working with the EU to deliver energy equipment to Ukraine for their power grid. Je suis heureux de vous annoncer qu'on prolonge la formation de sapeurs de combat dans le cadre de l'opération.